Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to film this video, mostly so I can start wrapping my baby's presents because I've been waiting to wrap them so I could film this. So as soon as this video is over, I'm going to start wrapping. So I'm excited about that. But I thought it would be fun to share everything that we got my 14 month old son for Christmas. Well, he'll be 14 months old in just a few days and we'll still be 14 months around Christmas time. I love watching these types of videos just to get ideas and I just love looking at all the different types of toys that are out there. Although it is dangerous because then it makes me want to buy everything for my son, which is why I have so much here for him. Honestly, we have way too much. We have a shopping problem, well mostly just me. I am a self-proclaimed online shopping addict, so don't think you need to buy this many items and you probably should not because this is definitely too many things. Part of the reason we have this much is because I started shopping months and months and months ago just because some of the things are a little bit more expensive and I like to just add in as things come on sale. Most recently we got some really great deals for Black Friday, that's what I was waiting for to finish out our shopping. But now this should be everything, I'm cutting myself off, I'm not allowed to buy anything else for him because it's getting a little bit excessive, especially for a one year old that's probably going to just want to play with the wrapping paper and not really care about any of this. But the good news is all of these toys are really quality items and should last him years so he should get lots of use out of them. Now we are a Montessori family, so a lot of our toys we focus on things that are made of natural materials and open-ended play and practical items and we kind of steer away from loud electronic type toys. Not that there's anything wrong with those toys, I just I just prefer the other type for our house. So that's what all of these toys here are. So I'm going to get into all of his things that we got for him and then I'll show you the things that I'm putting in his stocking that are just cute small things. First I'll start with this one. We actually already gave him this one. It's a pull toy and when you pull it, the little alligator bangs on the drums, which is pretty cute. He has a pull toy dog that he's had for a couple months since he started walking and we got it second hand and he has just been so hard on that thing. It broke like three different times and we kept fixing it with wood glue and it just broke the other day. And I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna give him one of his presents early because he really loved that pull toy and I just didn't want to fix it again. It was basically just a dog head on a string. So we upgraded to this one. I got this on Black Friday for pretty cheap, but it's really cute and he loves it. He loves pull toys. I also didn't care to give it to him early because I think it'll be kind of overwhelming for him to get lots of gifts at one time. So I might even give him another gift early if I feel like it. It's also hard because he's seen these toys in his room and asks for them. So sometimes I just show them to him. So he likes a lot of them already, I know, because I showed them to him and he approves. But that's kind of why I want to get them wrapped too, because I don't want him to keep getting little free peeks. Next up, I got these from Target. Target has this wooden toy line, which is really cute. It's nice to see big stores like that starting to move in with the sustainable toy lines, like wooden toys. I'm gonna open this up for you guys to see. Three little cars in here. They're nice and chunky for his little hands to push around. He's just starting to push around little cars. He has this bus on his shelf and he's just starting to push it around and play more like an actual car instead of just throwing it. And he loves this one so I thought he'd like these little cars too. And they got a little hole in them so his little people can be the drivers of his car and I think he'll really like these ones and I definitely like them. They're so cute. That's what's hard about these toys is sometimes I just really like them and so I get them but I think he'll really like these ones too. And they were pretty inexpensive. This whole set was, I think, like $12 at Target, which for wooden toy cars is a pretty good deal, I think. Even for plastic toys, it's pretty good. Although I heard this brand does sell out pretty quickly, so if you see it in person and you want it, then you better pull the trigger right away. We got him a few puzzles. We got him this knob puzzle. He really likes the puzzles he had. He actually doesn't really like them anymore, but he went through a really strong puzzle phase where he wanted to do them all the time and I don't know if he stopped doing it because it wasn't much of a challenge anymore or because it was just boring because he's been doing the same one for so long so I thought he'd want to try a different one. This one has realistic images which we love as a Montessori family and this brand has a few other ones. They have a fruit puzzle and an animal ones. I was going to get them all but then I decided to just get one and try it out first but I do think he'll really like this one. This is one of the ones that he saw in his closet and, and begged for which was pretty sad, but I stayed strong and just distracted him. So I know he'll want to play with this one as soon as he opens it. 
we got is this. I actually ordered this one off of Etsy. So it's handcrafted from a grandpa and I love supporting small businesses like that. This one was a bit pricey, but there's so many different things that we can do with this, like learning to spell letters. I wanna start teaching him the letter sounds as soon as he shows any interest in that, maybe around 18 months or two. And then also just, you know, completing the puzzle. I also like how it's so big. I'll scoot back a little so you can see the whole thing. The puzzle pieces are nice and chunky for his little hands. And again, it's just, it's just beautiful. Okay. We have this Grimm's Rainbow. This has been in a few different videos that I filmed if you watch my channel regularly. This can be used for open-ended play and stacking and color matching. You can even build ball runs. There's so many things you can do with this. I want to see if he'll be interested in stacking it. I know he'll really like the colors too because the colors are nice and beautiful. A lot of our toys are neutral colors so this will be a nice change of scenery for him. And this is another one that I expect that will last years and years because even adults that I know want to open this thing and try it out because it's just so pretty. Next we have this Pounding Tower by Melissa and Doug. He really loves his drum, it's one of his favorite toys, so I thought we could combine the drumming motion with some fine motor skills of actually hitting the little balls. So you hit them with a little hammer that comes with it inside of here, and you have to hit them a few times for them to fall and roll down the ramp. And I think all of those motions together, he will really get a kick out of. He'll love watching the ball roll down and knowing that he's and he's causing that. I got this brand new at a thrift store for a lot less than normal retail value. So went ahead and picked that one up. We also got him some books. These I probably had the longest. I think I got these in like July or August. I saw them at Costco when I was shopping with my husband. And I just came up to him and said, how mad would you be if... I was wanting to spend $30 on some books and he didn't care because he thought they were cool too. But they're different space books. There's an earth one, a moon one, and a sun one. They are just so fun and the illustrations are so cute. I'll open it up. Each one is from the perspective of the actual planet as if it were a person kind of telling you about themselves and how they were formed. And then just like the timeline of the planets. So it's got dinosaurs, an asteroid. They are evolution based if you're into that. But lots of cool facts and illustrations. It also talks about humans and pollution and kind of hard topics like that. But in a fun little kid's book, really cute illustrations. Me and my husband both really love space and love learning about space, so we hope that Rory really likes that too. So we're always down to give him some space-themed toys. The other ones are pretty much the same thing, just about the different moon and sun. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but it's hard not to. And how cute is this cover? It makes you just want to buy it. Which is why we did. Okay, almost done with his big presents. We have this little vacuum. Rory is obsessed with our vacuum. He just stands at the little corner where it's hidden in and just signs please over and over again for us to turn it on. I'm not sure why, but he just loves it. It's just funny because a lot of his friends that are around his age cry when the vacuum turns on and he's over there just laughing and having the time of his life. So the, our vacuum is really hard for him to push. It's heavy and just a big adult vacuum. And I wanted to get him a little one. They make a few toy kid vacuums, but we thought why buy him something that's fake in a plastic toy that is like mocking a real thing and why not just get him the real thing this is an actual working adult stick vacuum it's just super inexpensive it was like 25 30 ish dollars and it comes with a handle that you extend that goes in here so it can be like an actual vacuum for adults but we just didn't put that part in and so it's just basically a really tiny vacuum I think this is going to be his favorite gift. It's going to melt my heart to see a little baby pushing a little vacuum. Like, how cute is that? And he's going to just love that he can push it himself. Because sometimes he'll try to push ours and it's just hard and bulky for him. But he'll actually be able to vacuum. And a bonus is that it works and so my floors will, will get cleaner for it. Right now it'll just be more of a novelty for him because it makes noise and he'll just push it around. But when he's closer to two or three, he can clean up his own spills with this and use it pretty independently as an actual vacuum to help clean up his spills. So excited about this one. 
This is another one that he saw in the closet. I tried to keep all these hidden. I'm not sure how he discovers them, but he saw this sticking out and he about lost it. So I know that he's going to love this one. And his last big item is this balance board. This is going to be kind of big to fit in the frame. I'll just scoot back again. Here it is. I know it looks really boring. Wow, a curved piece of wood. How fun. But if you've seen these before, you'll know that they have lots of different fun open and display uses you can get out of them. Gross motor activities. He really likes climbing and jumping and discovering things with his body like that. So he'll like to rock on this. You can turn it upside down like this and he can climb it and use it as a slide and a ramp. All sorts of things. So I know it looks boring and kind of stupid, but he will like it, I am sure. Usually the simplest things kids find a use for like boxes and empty water bottles and this curved piece of wood is another one that I think he will find many uses for. All right, getting into the stocking stuffers. I'm a sucker for stockings. They're my favorite part of Christmas. I just like the idea of just tiny little presents that you find last minute. It's kind of hard to find one for a young baby because traditionally a lot of people use like candy and fillers that are like that, but I don't want to be giving him candy or anything in that category. I've also got a lot of practical items in there for him. So some of the toys, I have this little flashlight. It's a projector flashlight, so you can turn it on. Let's see. And push the button. It looks really blurry in the camera, but it's clear in real life. And it has different planets. Again, space themed we like. He also loves lights. He wants to see the lights in our house all of the time, so I thought he would love his own little flashlight. I tried to find just a regular flashlight, but I wanted one that wasn't super bright because I'm sure he's going to just stare into it for five minutes and I want him to be blind. And this one is a lot more dim than a normal flashlight since it's a projector with different colors. So we went with this one. I got him this little speaker. This is kind of a weird thing to get a baby, but he recently discovered his love of dancing. He wants to dance all the time and he is weirdly obsessed with carrying my phone around while it's playing music. He liked to dance to regular music too, but he is even more interested in carrying my phone while it's playing, like a little personal stereo. And I don't want him to keep dropping my phone and slobbering all over it, so I thought we could get this. This was only $10, so just a cheap little Bluetooth speaker. And I can hook it up to my phone, to his normal playlist that he likes, and he can carry it around and be rough on it and dance around with this one. Some more practical things, these little suspenders. How cute are these? If you've never seen a toddler boy in suspenders, you're missing out because I don't think it gets cuter than that. Lots of boy moms are jealous of girl moms because the girls get all the cute little outfits, but once you see a little baby in suspenders, you will realize that boys have just as many cute things as girls because, come on. I already have a little outfit he can wear with these. And they're practical, not just cute, because he is very, very skinny and tall, so all of his pants, by the time they fit his length, are huge on his waist or if we get them to fit his waist they're like five inches too short so these are actually practical because none of his pants ever fit him so we can get him a little bit bigger of a size to fit his length and then throw some suspenders on him and he'll look extra adorable we also have a little toothbrush he has the dr brown's draft toothbrush right now and i made the mistake of letting him carry it around one day and now it's just gross and old and i don't know it's just not good anymore so i got him a new one this one's an alligator He's gonna love it. He loves brushing his teeth. I also have this little spinning top. He can't work this on his own, but he'll really like watching us do it. And then in a few years, he can try to do it on his own. Really bright, beautiful colors. Got this little set of crayon rocks. They're basically just tiny little rocks-ish things, but they're actually crayons and a little bag of them. He's just getting into the concept of drawing and creating. So I think I like to hold these and he loves rocks, but he does eat rocks. So I'm sure he'll try to eat these. So I'll have to watch him, but it'll be cute to see him color. And they just come in a little, little cute bag, a great little stocking stuffer. Okay. Now I know I said little kids in suspenders are cute, but wait until you see this. I got him a little chef outfit. So there's a little chef hat and a little apron. I actually tried this on him because he doesn't care about it. It's just close to him and we about died my family was losing their mind because it was the cutest thing we've ever seen I got this for him because he loves to cook with me and I thought it would be fun to film cooking videos where he's actually wearing a little apron and hat so adorable and the apron will save his clothes 
so it is practical too. Two more things. I got him this little bag of felt mushrooms. I'm not sure exactly how many there are. I'm not going to dump them out, but maybe like 15 or 12, just based on what I'm seeing. But they're just little felt mushrooms that are nice and light. And these are going to be used for transferring activities. These are from the brand of the Natural Play Box. They have fun sensory activities and tools for kids. I really want to get their scooping bowls too. They make little bowls with built-in handles to pour. Those were actually supposed to go with this, but I cut myself off on buying things before I got those. We can just use bowls we have, but they're just little like sensory fillers and he can take two different cups and practice pouring them back and forth because they're nice and light and easy to transfer. And who doesn't love a little mushroom? It's so cute. All right, the last thing is this. I can go ahead and open it up right now. I actually got this from one of my friends that recently had a baby. It was supposed to be her present, but I ended up getting her some other things and then I just really liked these and thought Rory would like them too. They might be a little bit young for him because they're not gonna like, challenge him very much, but that's okay. They're just little things we can throw in the diaper bag to occupy him. Let's see, and we've got a second baby, then they will be all over these too. Once I can figure out the packaging, then I will show you guys. So loudest packaging ever, of course, when he's trying to sleep. Really not sure what's going on here. Okay, finally got him. So they're just different little sensory blocks. This one's got the touch, so different textures on these little nubs. This one makes sounds and moves these little levers. This one is a rattle and also has this little button that squeaks. And this one is a sight one. It's got little mirrors and beads in there. So he will be able to stack these because they all fit into each other. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They all have this little hole at the bottom so they can actually stack nicely. Well, that's pretty cute. So he will get some use out of them then because he can stack them. But I thought he'd also just like to look at them and examine them. And they're just a pretty cute little stocking stuffer. This is by the Hape brand, which is a great brand for wooden toys. If I can find them before Christmas, I do want to get him a little container of bubbles from the store. I don't know if they sell that in the winter. I think they usually only sell it in the summer. But he has a bubble machine that he really likes, so I'd love to get him some more bubbles that we can refill it with. So if I see those in a store, I will pick those up, but that'll complete his stocking. And the rest of his toys I am not getting anything else this is this is for sure it I might also throw in some snacks in his stocking like pouches he likes and little baby granola bars just because he'll be really excited when he sees those even though they're always available just on our shelf for him but anyways this is everything we have for him for Christmas like I said I know it's a bit excessive for a 14 month old I don't know what's wrong with me so try to be stronger if you have a baby and not go too crazy with buying things if you guys are interested, I filmed a holiday gift guide video, or rather six different videos explaining lots of different toys. Some of them we have, some of them are in this video, and some of them are on our wish list for the future. If you need more ideas past this video, go check those ones out. But I hope you guys like this video and got some inspiration and just like seeing what we got him. But if you like this video, I would really appreciate if you could like it and leave a comment and tell me if you have any of these toys for your baby or if you like any of these options. If you want to see these toys in action, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll film on Christmas Day when he opens all of these things and plays with them. At least that's the plan. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.